Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QHN. In this video, we are going to see how to do automation without using coding. So it's basically a codeless automation. Uh, so for if you want to do automation, uh, like in the market Selenium, QTP, and there are some other free open source also available. QTP is paid tool actually. Uh, there is a tool called Selenium IDE. So if you don't know how to get it, just type Selenium IDE in Google you will get a fourth option add-on of Mozilla Firefox so for this purpose you have to use Mozilla Firefox browser so you just click on add to browser so once it's once it added so here you can see the selenium IDE icon okay just click on selenium IDE so some browser may need a restart to enable this icon so just restart also so I want to record some website I'm going to automationpractice.com okay so I will open this so here is the record button here is the play button run current test you can open on project if you have already you can here you can give your project name for example I can give oh, project website name itself okay Here I can create a multiple test. So now I have to record. If this is like uh, you no need to use any programming language. Simply click on record, then go back here. Just refresh because this also will be recorded. And uh, click on sign in button. So every click and every action you will get a notification from the Selenium ID with latest version. So see, I got it at uh, top. I'm entering my email which I already have login so password so click on sign in it's logged out actually I will click on order history or something if this you can consider for a verification now go back to selenium IDE yeah. and here is the script so I have created login script here just stop it I have stopped it what you can do you can rename as login okay login script is done this I can save somewhere maybe I have I will save it to desktop automation practice test okay so I will log out and try to run my recorded scenario let's see how the automation test script will work so if you want to review just see open the index page and click at login here you can mention in here you can uh, customize your uh, uh, website also actually it's uh, not a big deal if you want to customize if it is not full you can customize this okay target and click on login button enter email and password and click on submit button okay so clicking on orders so when you run it so it will go to automation practice third step see the the steps also will move automatically yeah it will click on order list yes done here you can see the logs so what happened when it goes to automation okay 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 so everything is okay now if you try to run see it's already logged on i didn't log out so if you try to run we can see the failure cases also here it will fail on click on sign in button because sign in button doesn't exist because it's already uh, logged in so it's failed you can see here failed also so this is how you can create an automation script with record and playback for this you no need any programming language or something you should know how what are the steps are required for the test cases so like this you can create a new test for example create a order create order and just click on record from here you can start so go to t-shirt some t-shirt okay add to card proceed okay so the, this much step is done proceed to checkout also you can click yeah enough let's see what's happened 
this is you can stop you can run this current test only run the current test okay so it will go to index it's not basically index so you can you have to change it here you have to change it to maybe so this url you can give if you want okay so this is how you can record multiple uh, uh, scenarios and save it here and you can run all at a time with the run all the test for example you can select okay let me so after save this also you can uh, click on all the test cases and run all at a time and what else in this test executions okay if you want slow or speed this you can set and uh, if you closed it if you want to open the existing project also you can open with this tool okay guys i think you guys have understood how to create a automation script without having the coding knowledge thank you for watching please subscribe